So far, we have been working with two classes, namely CPLXNUM and CPLXNUMPH. CPLXNUMPH class was the derived class of CPLXNUM. However, if you remember, both the CPLXNUM and CPLXNUMPH classes were sharing the same header file and implementation or CPP file. It is a good practice to have different header and CPP files for different classes. This will help in maintaining your project efficiently. More specifically, if you need to make any changes to a particular class, then you just need to look for the corresponding .h and CPP files for that class. On the other hand, suppose you had only one header file and only one CPP file and you want to make change to only one class, then you do not know where that class definition is in that particular header file because many other class definitions are also there. So as you can understand, having different header files and having different CPP files for class definitions and class implementation will help us efficiently maintain our project. Therefore, in today's video, we'll separate the two related classes that we have been working on so far into two sets of .hr header and .cpp or the implementation files. So without further delay, let's get started writing our code. All right, so if you remember where we left our discussion last time, we had one header file and one CPP file corresponding to the two classes that named CPLXNUM and CPLXNUMPH. And the corresponding CPP file had the implementations of the different class methods for the two classes. And then we had uh, another CPP file where we had the main function where it created the object of those two different classes and called different class methods on that object. Okay, so in this video what we are going to do is we'll create two head files. One is a header file and another one is a .cpp file. In the header file that we'll be creating new today will be that header file will be dedicated to this derived class called cplxnumph and the new cpp file that we'll be creating today will contain solely the class implementation corresponding to this cplxnumph i hope this is clear so we'll create one file first name complex cls ph dot h very simple and then we'll cut these class definition from our old header file so this old header file will now contain the class information or uh, class definition for only one class named cplxnum or the base class in our case and in this new header file, we now have the class definition for our derived class, which is named as cplxnumph. Further, we need this, we need to include the header file for this class, which is complex cls dot h okay another thing is that we now will take out all the class method implementation for the cplxnumph class and then we'll cut those class methods implementation and We'll create a new file now named complex cls ph.cpp and paste there. So now we have a dedicated 
implementation file or CPP file corresponding to the class CPLX numPH. However, we need to include the header file for the class complex num ph dot h this is the header file name we just created other thing is that we need here is that if as you can see that this new header file that we just created could be included in multiple different implementations or in many other header files whoever requires this class so if we include the same header file multiple times during the compilation of your project you may get error that multiple definition of the same function so in order to avoid that we need some include card and the way we do this is we type hash if if n def then we define complex cls ph underscore age and then we say if not defined then we define this complex cls ph underscore age and then at the end of the class we type and if okay in order to protect to not including this header file multiple times again for the cplx num we do similar thing as we have done for the derived class header file so we'll copy this here and then the name will be just name of uh, then we provide we just remove ph from from here okay then we say and if at the end of that header file further i think we are good so we have created now two different one header file and one dot cpp file now come back to our main file which previously had included only one header file complex cls.h which header file had both the class definition so we had access to both the classes through this single header file but now that we have two different header files for the two different classes we need to include both the header files and the name of this new header file as we have already defined which is complex cls ph dot h okay next what we'll do is we'll just now create object of the class complex num ph and then we'll call the class methods get real get img and get phase so that's what this main.cpp file is doing so far so now it's time to compile your code so we'll type g plus plus dash std is going to see plus plus 11 w dash o name of the output is main then we compile our code which is main.cpp we now have two new two other cpp files that we need to compile the one is complex cls.cpp and the other one is complex cls ph dot cpp so we now compile these two and see what we get it says complex cls ph dot cpp which says no file named complex num ph 
actually if this is supposed to be complex CLS dot ph okay let's compile our code we get another error which says a10 was not declared it's happening in the file named complex cls ph dot cpp complex cls ph dot cpp we just need to include we just need to include cmath that's all okay so let's try to compile again and the code compiles let's now run the executable and we see that we got the right output so that's very good so that means although we have separated our big header file for the two which were holding two different which was holding two different class definitions and the old cpp file which were which was containing the implementations of the classes uh, in in the same two classes in the same cpp file we now have separated into two header files and two cpp files and our code is working as expected next what we are going to do is we'll comment this out and then we'll now create object without the new variable so and see if that is working fine or not so we just need to recompile our code and it compiled again properly we'll run the main file and we see that yeah we have the right output so in this video we learned two things one is how to separate different class definitions into different header files how to compile them and how to use include guard to avoid including the same header file multiple times so that we don't get any error during our compilation time because we do not want to include the same header file multiple times i hope this video is helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and like the video and please subscribe the channel. Thank you.